Interesting. But I mean, do you think that they should? Because I don't understand even like this Wonder Woman movie, how it's going to fit in with the Aquaman movie that we saw. I did not see the Aquaman movie. I have zero interest. It's good. I'll see Wonder Woman 1984 or whatever it's called because I I liked the first Wonder Woman movie, but I could I could not give less of a shit about Aquaman in general. Aquaman was the uh, I was home for Christmas last year and my parents like, oh, we should go see a movie. All right. Yeah. Well, like it was purely something to do. It's a safe family movie. Yeah. You're not going to have to sit next to your parents watching people fuck. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Which is always a win. That's always, yeah. I, I, I still, happening. one of the most awkward moments in my life is watching Austin Powers, uh, the first one. I was like 12. Yeah. And I don't even remember what was happening, but I was so embarrassed. It may have been the, the Swedish penis enlarger. We went to see the third one, and I remember we sat a few rows in front of whatever parent was taking You and it. I saw it? Yes. Oh, okay. The yeah. one with Beyonce. Right, yeah. Saw it at Foxy the Cleopatra. Western Hills mm-hmm. Cinema. Um, I bet all sorts and, of and we loved problems, it, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 There's, they're and, all. But I remember problems. our parents or whoever like sat a few rows behind <laughs> us. <laughs> it's like oh, physical no. comedy right. happening Hold over on. here, but <laughs> it's unintentional. <laughs> Hold on. We'll God the... knows what happened. What did Pat do? Over it's a real, here? it's a real Austin Powers <laughs> situation. <laughs> I'll put this back together. <laughs> See, did you see Shazam? I did not. Oh, it's fun. Lonnie I saw Shazam. I got to tell you about Lonnie. It it's it's superhero big. Um, so Lonnie saw Shazam uh, on on the plane ride on the way here the last time he visited, and and he said, you know, I saw that one movie. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's like a little kid, and when he says Shazam, he turns into a superhero. Yeah, what is that called? <laughs> I think it's Kazam. Yeah. Uh, he Shaquille said O'Neal. when he says Shazam, <laughs> he becomes a superhero. I said Lonnie, it's called Shazam. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they do? Do they do they loosely tie all this stuff together? Well, I mean, uh, uh, case in point. It's happening. God, this today's episode is a real wreck. When they when they launched Black Lightning on the CW, they were very adamant in the beginning that this is not part of the Arrowverse. Yes, it is a DC Comics superhero on the CW network, where all of these other DC Comics superheroes exist in the same universe. This is separate. And now with the Crisis on Infinite Earths thing, I think they're into season two on Black Lightning. They are, in fact, introducing everybody's part of it into it. I want to see Melrose Place crossed over into the Marvel Universe of Television. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. I mean, when Melrose Place and Nine Two and O, Nine Two and O crossover. Yeah, Yeah. with with. I mean, they were in a shared universe. So let's combine them. Put them on uh, Riverdale. And prior to prior to that, all these all these forty five year olds showing up. I was going to say, speaking of 45 year olds, when I was a little kid, Dallas and Knott's Landing and I believe Falcon Crest were all in a shared universe of nighttime soaps. Bring them in too. Can, can we get the can we get a, a universe of the current dynasty and the old dynasty? <laughs> shared I mean, you universe? know what? The 90210 reboot from a few years back was in the same universe as the original. Although now the current reboot, which hasn't acknowledged the prior reboot, is like a meta I'm not a fan of, of the, uh, the fact that there's an Are You Afraid of the Dark reboot. Oh, is there? Yeah. Mm. That bummed me out. Are You Afraid mm. of the Dark, by the way, is uh, a huge reason for my tremendous fear of the dark. So the answer is yes. Yes, I am. There's a Canadian the television series in the early 90s that was on Nickelodeon. Yep. Because all of the early Nickelodeon programming was just Canadian television for children that they just basically purchased and showed down here as Rented. its own original content. Um and it was, I, I watched a few episodes yesterday just to see if it was as scary. And it is, it is rough for little kids to be watching. Like yeah. it is, with the exception of the blood, it is everything that like 80s slasher movies were. Like, wow. It Intense. was, it was, it was bad B horror movies in half hour increments, but not made for children, but just featuring children being terrified and attacked by scary things. Namely, uh, a crazy dead clown thing. Yikes. 